think Call of Duty is just another game in your collection. Prepare to have your mind blown and your loyalties tested. This isn't your usual fan praise or a hate rant. It's the raw, unfiltered truth that might just redefine your battleground. Has Call of Duty become a sacred cow in the gaming world, untouchable and revered without question? Why is it that despite glaring flaws, millions remain blindly devoted, fueling a cycle of endless sequels and rehashed content? Is it genuine love, or are we all just caught up in the hype, too invested to see the game for what it really is? We're peeling back the layers, challenging the status quo, and daring to ask the questions you've thought but never voiced. It's time to confront the hard truths about Call of Duty. Are you ready to question everything and face the uncomfortable facts head on? Call of Duty, a franchise that has transcended the realm of gaming to become a cultural phenomenon, commands an immense following, with each release greeted by fanfare akin to blockbuster movie premieres. But what fuels this fervor? Is it the game's innovative gameplay, its cinematic storytelling, or is there something more, a deeper, almost cult-like devotion that blinds its adherence to any faults? This game, a juggernaut in the gaming industry, has not just survived but thrived, evolving from a classic World War II and II shooter to a modern-day warfare and battle royale icon. Its yearly releases are events anticipated by millions, generating buzz that most games can only dream of. Yet, beneath the surface gloss and the adrenaline-pumping action, questions linger. Why does this titan of the industry, despite its repetitive cycles and familiar critiques, the recycled content, the unaddressed bugs, the predictable monetization strategies continue to command such loyalty and passion? Critics often point out that each new installment, while polished and high-octane, seldom strays far from the tried-and-true formula. Yet, the masses flock to it, their enthusiasm undimmed. Is this loyalty born of genuine love, a testament to the game's enduring appeal, or is it a habit, a comfort in the familiar, a refusal to acknowledge the diminishing returns in innovation and creativity? The phenomenon is not merely about the game itself, but about what the game represents a shared cultural touchstone, a community, a reliable constant in the rapidly changing landscape of the gaming world. Yet, this allegiance is double-edged. It elevates the game to legendary status, but also shields it from the critical scrutiny that drives evolution and improvement. When loyalty turns into blind devotion, it risks stunting growth, encouraging complacency in developers, and fostering an environment where the minimum change garners maximum reward. In dissecting the hype around Call of Duty, one must question, are we, the gaming community, participants in our own deception? Are we so enamored with the spectacle, so invested in the identity and community the franchise offers, that we overlook its stagnations, its failures to innovate, and its occasional disregard for player feedback? As we stand amidst the clamor and the cheers, the unyielding excitement for each new release, it's crucial to peel back the layers of this fervent hype. To question is not to condemn, but to seek a deeper understanding of our collective obsession, to ensure that our enthusiasm is a catalyst for growth, not a chain that binds us to the familiar, the comfortable, and the unchallenged. In the pantheon of video gaming, Call of Duty stands as a colossus, yet even the mightiest giants have their weaknesses. Central to the discourse among its vast community is a chorus of grievances concerning gameplay flaws and a perceived lack of innovation. Criticisms that, despite the franchise's commercial success, persistently cloud its reputation. At the heart of these criticisms lies the accusation of repetitive gameplay. Year after year, players are presented with iterations that, while polished and visually impressive, often echo previous installments. The core mechanics, the rhythm of combat, and even the narrative arcs feel all too familiar, breeding a sense of deja vu. This repetitiveness is not just a minor quibble, but a significant issue that dulls the once thrilling experience, transforming anticipation into predictability. Moreover, the innovation once synonymous with Call of Duty appears to be waning. In the early days, the series was praised for its groundbreaking approaches to first-person shooter mechanics, introducing features that would become industry standards. However, recent titles seem to tread water, refining rather than reinventing, and leaning heavily on the laurels of past successes. This stagnation is particularly noticeable in an industry that thrives on novelty and advancement, leaving players yearning for the groundbreaking spirit that once defined the franchise. The implications of these flaws are profound, impacting not just the individual player experience, but the broader perception of the franchise. Long-time fans express frustration, feeling that their loyalty is taken for granted, rewarded with safe, 
formulaic entries rather than bold, genre-defining innovations. Newcomers, attracted by the series' storied reputation, are often met with an experience that, while competent, lacks the wow factor promised by the legacy of its name. The frustration is compounded by the multiplayer aspect, where the promise of dynamic, ever-changing combat scenarios is undermined by the predictability of map design, weapon balance, and tactical options. The thrill of competition, the core of the Call of Duty experience, is diminished when the gameplay feels like a retread of familiar ground, with each match blurring into the next. Addressing these criticisms is not about diminishing the achievements of Call of Duty, but about urging a franchise, capable of industry-leading innovation, to once again embrace the mantle of creativity and boldness. The call is for a game that not only entertains but also surprises, challenges, and evolves, reflecting the dynamic nature of the medium itself. For Call of Duty to continue its reign, it must not only respond to the clamors for change, but anticipate the desires of its audience, delivering experiences that are fresh, engaging, and, most importantly, innovative. Call of Duty's imprint on gaming culture is indelible, shaping not just the first-person shooter genre, but also the broader landscape of online gaming. Its annual releases are landmark events in the gaming calendar, each installment greeted with fervor by a dedicated community that spans the globe. However, this influence carries with it a weighty responsibility, and the community's response to criticism, as well as the game's cultural ramifications, merit a nuanced examination. The franchise's community is a microcosm of gaming's diverse populace, encompassing casual players, dedicated fans, content creators, and sports athletes. This melting pot has fostered a rich, albeit complex, culture around the game. Call of Duty's release cycles generate a cyclical economy of anticipation, consumption, and critique, driving not just gaming trends, but also digital content creation, streaming, and the competitive gaming scene. Yet, the game's cultural dominance is a double-edged sword. The community's often defensive stance against criticism reflects a broader trend in gaming culture. A polarization between those demanding innovation and those content with the franchise's familiar comfort. This division can stifle constructive dialogue, with valid critiques sometimes drowned out by a chorus of loyalty or, conversely, by dismissive negativity. Such dynamics can obscure meaningful conversation about the game's direction, its design philosophy, and the relationship between developers and the community. Moreover, Call of Duty's influence extends beyond entertainment, affecting perceptions of military conflict, heroism, and geopolitical narratives. Its portrayal of warfare, soldiers, and conflict zones has the power to shape players' understanding and attitudes, a responsibility that should not be taken lightly. The game's narratives and thematic choices are thus not just artistic expressions, but also cultural statements, contributing to the broader discourse on how games intersect with real-world issues and historical accuracy. The community's engagement with these portrayals and their response to the game's evolution or perceived lack thereof play a crucial role in gaming discourse. Fans' reactions to new releases can influence the industry's standards for storytelling, gameplay innovation, and the ethical considerations of game design. When criticism is constructively embraced, it can drive the franchise to greater heights, encouraging a culture of reflection, adaptation, and progress. In conclusion, Call of Duty's community and cultural impact is profound, influencing gaming conventions, content creation, and the industry's narrative choices. The community's response to the game's evolution, its critique, and its cultural portrayals are pivotal in shaping not only the future of the franchise, but also the broader landscape of video gaming. Engaging with criticism, fostering inclusive dialogue, and reflecting on the cultural implications of the game are essential steps in ensuring that Call of Duty remains a positive force in the evolving world of digital entertainment. As we've navigated the high-adrenaline, controversy-laden world of Call of Duty, We've peeled back layers that many gamers either never see or choose to ignore. From the intoxicating hype that surrounds each release to the persistent gameplay flaws and the broader cultural impact, Call of Duty is more than just a game. It's a phenomenon that reflects and influences the gaming culture at large. This exploration is not just about critiquing a popular franchise, but about prompting us, the gaming community, to reflect on our engagement with this digital titan. Are we consumers of content, passively accepting each new installment? Or are we active participants, capable of demanding more from the developers and the industry leaders whose products shape our cultural landscape? As gamers, our choices have power. 
They dictate market trends, influence game development, and even impact the cultural significance of gaming itself. By critically examining franchises like Call of Duty, we not only become more discerning gamers, but also contribute to the evolution of gaming as a dynamic, innovative, and culturally relevant medium. So what's your take? Are you ready to challenge the status quo and demand more from your gaming experiences? Dive into the discussion, share your insights, and don't forget to subscribe for more thought-provoking content that dares to question, critique, and inspire. Geek and inspire.